Welcome viewers. Today we are excited to introduce you to 75F Smart Innovations India Private Limited, a leading company in the field of building automation and energy efficiency solutions. 75F is committed to providing innovative solutions that improve the comfort energy efficiency and productivity of commercial building this year 75f smart innovations is participating in ecrex 2023 as a participant they will showcase the latest products and solutions that aim to transform the commercial buildings industry let's take a look at what the management of 75f has to talk about the company and its offerings 75f it's kind of a tricky name and uh... what does it mean and could you tell us more about the business what you do so 75f stands for 75 degrees fahrenheit and the name is inspired by a united nations resolution of 2009 whereby they found in a study that uh, 75 degrees fahrenheit or 23.8 degrees celsius was the optimum temperature for people to feel comfortable and for energy to be saved so uh the secretary general at the time signed an ordinance that all thermostats in un buildings would be changed from 72 degrees fahrenheit to 75 degrees fahrenheit and they remain at that level to this day so our founder uh, was inspired by that focus on energy savings as well as people's comfort and decided to name the organization since that also happens to be our mission uh, which is to make the uh, planet more energy efficient to uh, save energy for companies and to make people more comfortable and productive so you you came into this domain when uh, you know there is a kind of transition happening and there is a kind of awareness being built for uh, energy conservation you know and uh, how do you see the you know awareness as of now and what sort of activities you are doing in india the awareness for energy efficiency has grown exponentially and that is aided by the recent cop 27 announcements the declaration by the prime minister that by 2070 india intends to be net zero and there's a slew of initiatives that the government is rolling out which will enable across the spectrum uh, businesses plants uh, commercial buildings and factories to become a lot more energy efficient and productive so the role that we play is in uh, making e either existing buildings or upcoming green buildings more energy efficient and buildings make up about 40% of the total uh, energy footprint of the planet so we find that there is a potential to save energy consumption of buildings by about anywhere from 15 to 30% given that our domain is really hvac control and hvac tends to take up approximately 60% of the total energy footprint of the building so aided by the uh, announcements by the government aided by technologies becoming more uh, user friendly and more compelling and also fueled by the fact that there is more money and investment available for energy efficiency as well as with alternate energy all the pieces are starting to come together and we are finding that more and more customers are starting to deploy it initially it was just the very large organizations but now there are smb and sme organizations that are also going in for deploying these solutions and what sort of expansion plan you have especially for the indian market in terms of expansion we really see three axes in which we will be looking at expanding our business so one is the kind of verticals and the kind of buildings in which our solution is likely to go the second is geographical in terms of the different locations across the country and we now have a direct point of presence in about uh, six locations which can cover about 70% of the country and uh, the third is really through partnerships part of our uh, charter for this uh, event is really to seek out partnerships and seek out ways of expanding our message to our customers and by having uh, different kinds of partners whether they are systems integrators contractors um uh, esco companies energy service companies we are open to working with all of them and taking our message to future customers uh, thank you so much guru i bob uh, uh, how do you see the awareness or acceptance of such innovative technologies in indian market uh, the acceptance has been really good here especially because of our uh, record our track record for energy savings You know, energy costs here are extremely expensive, and our track record has been astounding. So the case studies and the repeat customers that we have, after doing pilots, 
um, is very, very good and growing fast. So, and what sort of uh, targets you have for the Indian market? What is going to drive the growth for India? What's driving the growth is the change in the, the, uh, the acceptance from the largest buildings for uh, building management systems into more of the what I would call the mid-market. Your hospitals and hotels, those kinds of um, uh, buildings tend to be a little bit smaller than your Class A office buildings. The Class A office buildings, it's a no-brainer. You need a building management system. But what's happening is that we're enabling the building management systems with IoT to come into that mid-market, and that's where the growth is going to be happening. Apart from increasing the, uh, no, improving the partner channel network, or rather building a kind of partner network in India, what sort of vision you have for the Indian market? The reason that we have for our partners is that typically they've only had access to the traditional incumbent building controls before. And because of the cost structure and the cost of labor, they could only use those tools in the largest of projects. But now we're offering a, a more competitive way for them to offer a cutting edge experience, right? An IoT BMS has much richer data, much better integration capabilities. And so these partners can then bring those advanced tools to places that they haven't been before. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. <laughs> well, thank you so much, uh, Nishan, for joining us. And uh, I've gone through your stall and we could see that you know, uh, a host of technologies being showcased in this particular exhibition. What, what's special there? See, we were quite thrilled to be a part of this event. We were waiting for this event to start since last few months. And uh, the, the type of customers, the type of HVAC consultant, architects and customers who have dropped in it has totally thrilled us. So it's very nice to be part of this ACREX Mumbai. This time the ACREX is being held after two to three years, so the footfall is very high. We are we are mainly into energy saving and automation and BMS or BS, what we tell. Uh, thank you so much, Nissan. So that was the management of 75F. Now we'll see what they're showcasing here at ACREX 2023. So today I will introduce you to our newest product that got launched yesterday, that is called Renata's Chiller Plant Manager. So this particular product is actually aimed at controlling and optimizing centralized air conditioning plants across the country. It can be configured and created as per user requirement. At the same time, this chiller plant manager is capable of uh, measuring and detecting faults real time and notifying all the customer users including the facility teams, enabling intelligent decision making. The most important part is to achieve the lowest specific energy consumption to en eliminate energy wastage and gives you the con possibility of remote control where you can change the status of the machines, change the set points, aiding in eliminating energy waste. So tomorrow we are, I'm going to launch a product called Domain, Hashtag Domain Modeler which is a digital twin repository tool for maintaining and standardizing tags for equipment that will that will help all the OEM system integrator MSA to use that digital twin uh, definition across all the platform. Another product is the QR code. So what we are trying to do there is what can they do is using the smartphone they can scan the QR code and that they can uh, access the data at ease. So data will include the real time visualization of the HUSC equipment as well as the real time data and the trend logs. These are the two products I'm going to launch tomorrow. I'm very excited to launch the Hyperstat and the OTN, which is the Occupancy and Temperature Node in Acrix. Uh, Acrix has been wonderful. We have seen a lot of footfall. People are very interested to know what the product is capable of. And uh, they are very keen to know what, what the product can do and how it can work for them. And that is very inspiring and interesting for us. We can also uh, learn a lot from these industry experts who are visiting us and we are getting to know how we can better the product uh, in the coming days with the, pro pro with the, with the product roadmap uh, which we have. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really overall been a very good experience with launching the product at Acrex. Thank you. For this Acrex, we have launched quite a few new products. We are specifically responding to the need in market for uh, advanced IAQ sensors, CO2 monitoring as well as need for providing energy savings at large scale equipments like uh, chiller plants etc. So our new products mostly they are responding to a need for more IoT driven devices in the market and also having demand for data which is directly available at the fingertips 
of most decision makers, which enables them to make uh, better decisions. Uh, that has been the most, the biggest focus for the products that we've launched so far. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.